Hey everyone, today we are diving deeper into post-market OS v25.06, Linux on phones just got a big upgrade. KDE Plasma Mobile moves from version 6.2.4 to 6.3.5. Expect smoother animations, revamped settings, layouts and major bug fixes that improve stability across core apps. Notifications arrive faster and the app launcher feels more responsive. GNOME leaps from 47 to 48. This upgrade delivers massive performance gains thanks to dynamic triple buffering, reducing visual stutter during scrolling and transitions. Plus, you'll see usability enhancements in the notification shade and improved touch gestures on larger screens. Porsche now sits at version 0.47, polishing its minimalist design with smoother notifications and refined haptic feedback. Exmo remains at 1.171. Still the go-to for fans of keyboard-driven tiling layouts. Both environments showcase how PostMarket OS supports multiple user experiences. Underneath, PostMarket OS is Alpine-based, designed for lightweight performance on limited hardware. This release swaps the OpenRC init system for systemed, bringing compatibility in line with most desktop distributions. That switch requires a full reinstall if you upgrade, but it paves the way for future feature work instead of maintenance patches. Supported hardware keeps expanding. V25.06 adds the Google Pixel 3a XL, Moto G5 Plus, Xiaomi Redmi 7, My 9T, Redmi K20, Poco N3 NFC, and MyPad 5 Pro. Camera support now works on OnePlus 6, Moto E5 Plus, and select devices, though core features like calling and texting remain experimental on some ports. You can also install a generic 64-bit x86 build on PCs. It's a great way to test mobile-focused builds on a desktop or laptop before flashing a phone. And there's a shift brewing beyond software. The team plans a shiny new name to reflect post-market OS's broader reach. No final choice yet, but it'll drop the post EL device connotation and embrace the open platform spirit. If you're curious, check the official post market uh, OS site for step-by-step -step installation guides. Remember, this isn't as turnkey as Android or iOS. You might hit glitches with calls or camera functions, but it's an impressive milestone toward full Linux on mobile hardware. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next update.